Okay. Well, what's the hardest part about being an NFL broadcaster and memorizing all the names, teams, everything that's going on? No, the hardest part is having, uh, making sure everybody doesn't think you hate their team. If you say thing, something good about one team, the other fan base swears that you hate them. It's like, no, we're just calling like we see them. If they score a touchdown, you got to say they scored a touchdown. So that's probably the biggest challenge. But It's funny how you got to watch every little thing you say. If you yeah. say a certain yeah. like Green Bay Packers, oh, you're a Packer fan now. Right, huh? yeah, exactly. People, people are listening for what they want to hear, not necessarily for what you want to say. But you know what? That's what makes it great. I mean, people care about the NFL and people care about sports. And that passion is what keeps us all employed. And no doubt. Did Boys and Girls Club of America have an impactful part in your life? Yeah, you know, when I was a kid, I, had a, an, I grew up in Atlanta, and I had a neighborhood Boys and Girls Club that we were uh, able to go to after school and uh, take part in all their after-school programs. I mean, played a lot of sports there, but they also had uh, programs within the building that helped us with homework, um, arts and crafts, as we called it back then, and so many things that just kind of keep us off the streets, for lack of a better term. Right. Um, your voice is so eloquent and smooth when you talk on camera how do you do it so you don't make like these like little <laughs> errors and stuff how, how do you do that i don't know um how do you like is it preparation homework 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 that's that's really it you know it's like anything else as long as you know the subject matter that you're doing you just kind of let it free flow and, and come out like you're having a conversation and if you screw up people laugh at it and that's one of the things i think people enjoy about our show so much you know whenever we go somewhere people never say oh you did a great job of breaking down the cover two or some aspect of football it's that you guys seem like you're having fun with one another totally. and, and on our crew if you screw up a word somebody's there to bust your chops so right. I, I think everybody has a good time with that this year in the nfl who are your two surprise teams uh i, I think the rams for sure uh the way they've been able to turn uh, things around from winning four games last year um and you know that high scoring high powered offense uh, and probably Philadelphia. Philadelphia. I think I, I thought Philadelphia would be good. I don't know if I or anyone else thought they'd be this good. I mean, they're the best team in football right now. They're doing great. Yeah. How about for the AFC? In the AFC, I don't think there's any real surprises. I mean, I think you thought New England would do well, and they are. People try to count them out early, and there they are. You thought Pittsburgh would do well. They are. Kansas City would do well. So I don't think there's anybody who's kind of come out of the shadows, not in a positive way. You know, you maybe look and a team like Cincinnati, you thought might be better. It's turning out that they're not. Oakland's been up and down, not as consistent. But uh, as far as the top of the AFC, I think it's, it's been pretty much what we expected. Cool. We're here at the Boys and Girls Club of America. You're watching Fab TV. What a pro. I want to be on Fox. All right, man. <laughs>